They want direction from a commission led by Salt Lakers of different races and ethnicities. Mayor Aaron Mendenhall made the announcement at a press conference at Salt Lake City's International Peace Gardens. That location on the west side of Salt Lake, a nod to the diverse communities underrepresented in Utah policing. Downtown Salt Lake City has seen the bulk of protests for racial justice and police reform in Utah. The SLPD in particular faces pressure for the fatal shooting of Bernardo Palacios. Palacios, a 22-year-old, was shot and killed on May 23rd while running from police. Police say he had a gun. Salt Lake City Police have more than 700 staff with a budget over $80 million, far larger than any other municipal or county police agency in the state. A core group of commission members were introduced at the event, including Darlene McDonald, who praised the protesters. They will not let up, and they should not let up until they see real change within the institution. At the end of this, we really do need to bridge this gap between where we are today and where we must be as a city, as a capital city in particular, in the future between policing policy, policing culture, and the budget for the Salt Lake City Police Department. The mayor and city council chair say they will provide staff support, but they want the group itself to set the agenda. Their first item, though, finding good members beyond that core announced today. The city hopes to get recommendations in about a year. In the newsroom, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah.